Good morning, gang. David Guppel, Thinker Farmer here. Um, it's a hot, humid, sweaty day in South Louisiana. I'm uh, doing a little uh, nursery type project here and I thought I'd go ahead and share it with the channel. Um, those of you that are homesteaders can enjoy and relate. So, uh, well, let, I guess start from the beginning. So the deal here is uh, I love fig trees. I love pretty much any fruit tree of any kind. And I've got this row here. It's two or three different varieties, 10 fig trees. We had an older fig tree that was over in that kind of corner there and it died. Um, anyway, um, since I'm gonna be home with family and other things for the next probably six, eight weeks or so, I decided I'd go ahead and start some trees. And uh, so what I do is I come to the base of the tree here and you can already see where I snipped them off. I picked them off, um, kind of extra ones that didn't need to be there. Um, I mean, the goal for me in a fig tree is I want a tree that kind of grows straight up like this one here. It's got a little crook in it, but it's about a seven foot tall tree, probably grow a little more. Easy to, to weed and, and mow around. Um, the fig trees are gonna be at, you know, I mean, you can see them growing right now in another another month we're gonna have a lot of fig trees but they're basically you know arm height or head height i mean that one's already that fig up there is already uh right but it looks like a, a bird or something got to it it might taste oh it actually tastes pretty good anyway so a couple of figs are coming in but you want them at the right height so I'm doing it in the morning. My site location is very shaded. It's gonna get shade most of the day. You've got trees on one side, the house on the other. Um, I'm probably gonna do 20, 25 pots worth, or pot, pot up about 25, and then some of them I'm putting two in. On the left here, I've got a variety we've had for a while. I've got about uh, 11 of them. I've already put them in. Filled them with soil, water them a couple times. I'm gonna water them probably a few more times today. Basically trying to keep them hydrated. Um, and then what I did with the ones that I haven't finished with, I stuck them in water. Try to keep them hydrated. Um, it's hot in South Louisiana, so you wanna keep them as, as plumped up with water as possible. Um, Anyway, and then just gonna use some uh, soil, really compost here. It's uh, got wood chips, but it's got uh, some poultry manure that's broken down and decomposed. And uh, I'm gonna put, like I said, some of them over there and then uh, the rest over here. I'm putting two in, in some of them because there's a very good chance one of them's gonna die. If they don't, I can probably split them, you know, a month or two from now if they all live. But if if some of them die, I didn't waste all the time potting them up. So anyway, for you, those of you that like uh, nurserying, it's uh, kind of a, a sideline hobby for me when I can find, whenever I can find time. The, the big thing about it is with growing anything, you have to be there to monitor it. And so it's, uh, it's really, it really is just a matter of being mindful and observant. This one already looks really good, even though I mean, I just put that in the pot a, a, maybe an hour ago and uh, it hasn't lost that much turgor pressure and uh, it's the soil's nice and moist um, from all the water I've been putting in. But like I said, I'm gonna water it several more times today. It's in an area that drains really well. So uh, yeah, there you go, gang. Um, with that, uh, blessings for the journey as always and keep it real.